Hello, beautiful diamonds of light. I'm at it again. I'm out here in nature. Just taking it one day at a time. Enjoying this beautiful sun because it was raining yesterday and this morning and the sun came out and here I am at the river. Casting my line, just enjoying nature, feeling the breeze, you know. Just being grateful. Being grateful for the ray of sunshine. Being grateful for nature. Being grateful that, you know, my ancestors and spirit guides are around me, guiding me. I can feel their presence. Knowing that strength lies within you, you know. Try to endure my troubles. <laughs> One thing we can't do is run from ourselves. You shouldn't want to. You should just want to embrace who you are. And doing the shadow work is not easy, especially when you continually like surrounded by demonic forces. When you've been traumatized by so many people that are supposed to love you, you don't know who to trust. But one thing I can say, I trust me. I'm a very loyal soul. And I know someone in the universe that that matters. Loyalty matters. Respect from who I am to loyalty. Whether the other people are being loyal to me or not, I'm loyal to me. I do right by loyalty because I do it for me to respect for Kita, nobody else but me, for love for me. My loyalty lies within me. So when I'm loyal to people, I'm loyal to, it's because I'm loyal to myself. You understand? Yeah, when you're healing this trauma and stuff that they went through, it's like, it's a lot. And the more you work on healing and elevating, your light can attract the darker forces even more because they don't want you to succeed. They don't want you to be your light. They know. No, 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 no. So you have all kinds of things and people adding at you. Where you got to kind of remind yourself of who you are. Remember your power. Know you're divinely protected. And sometimes we want these people to get what they deserve because they always doing shit. Like some people so scared you might be doing something to them because they're doing something to you that they'll do something fucked up to you for real because they don't, they're scared of their own wickedness. But you got to know that you're not as wicked as they are. So they're afraid of who they are, not who you are. They're afraid of you too, but they think you're going to be as wicked as them. But those of us who are pure, we don't have to be wicked because you know what? The divine got us. So anything that the wicked try to do to come at you, know that their own karma will be their demise. That's how I work. I don't have to get at people. I just let them get at themselves. But um, in the midst of them getting at me, I suffer. Because they miserable. You know? But the challenges of life can only make you stronger if you just keep on willing yourself to be better. You know, we might give up, but we can't give up. My grandma put that into me, and I, and I live by that. No matter how I feel, no matter what it looks like, I just keep striving to do my very best and let my light shine even when motherfuckers don't want me to shine. The brighter I shine, the more miserable they are and the more they at me. But, hey, at the end of the day, they got to live with themselves just like I have to live with me. And as I'm living with me, I want to love and embrace me and not let these demonic forces around me cause me havoc and hurt and pain. And sometimes you feel like you're trapped because you have nothing, nowhere, no place to go. You're where you're at. That's just you there, expanding and growing even more. Let more of the trauma, hurt, and pain heal you to be your greater self. Because what don't kill you make you stronger. I just wanted to come and share this moment with y'all and just, you know, words of wisdom, I guess. Just vent a little bit and tell you all love yourself no matter what. And no matter what people may do to you, say to you how to make you feel. Don't let them win. At the end of the day, they're going to lose trying to fuck with you. Because you're more powerful than they know. You know? But they could be powerful too. But as long as you ain't fucking with them, that's all that matters. Because I don't fuck with people. I don't do evil shit to people. I be wanting them to get what's theirs, but they do eventually in their own time from their own karma. I don't go out trying to hex people up and shit. I don't do that. I ain't got time for that. I'm trying to focus on me. Some people so busy making you miserable. And they know you know what you know. And they scared you trying to hex them up. They trying to hex you up. And you ain't even stunned them in that way. So you just waiting to sit back, waiting on them to <laughs> bury their own selves. <laughs> That's usually what happened, going to happen, you know. 
and people that be acting at the chosen ones, you know. But um, I just wanted to share that. I just want to speak to y'all and say, you know, say it's probably just part two to this video, and I'm pretty sure because I'm over the time limit, or maybe I'm not. Wherever this may post at YouTube, TikTok. You know I'm saying I just want y'all to keep on holding on. I'm, I know it's hard out here, especially for us people of color. But you know what I'm saying. A lot of us special. I don't care what color you are. Yeah, it ain't about the color. It ain't about the race. It's about the soul energy. And some of us don't have souls. All right? And some of us are so solar that they can't stand the heat. So they need to get the fuck out of the kitchen. But until next time, beautiful diamonds are like, stay well. Bye now.